at this point we don't know who to believe whether to believe efcc or yaya Bello. anyway let me explain so on 18th of september yaya Bello posted on his official x account twitter that he will be honoring invitation from efcc meaning say ingo go visit efcc after efcc have been looking for him all this time so he said he's on his way he's currently going to honor the invitation by efcc and along the line they posted some video of yaya Bello with his own interage going to efcc to go and visit efcc so everybody was like oh finally yaya Bello is submitting himself to ESS's investigation is going and all that. He went further to say that after he has consulted his lawyer and every other person who matters to him, that they finally come to conclusion that he will go and visit EFCC. Everything was going well until EFCC now released an official statement on their official X account, I mean Twitter, that Yaya Bello is not in their custody. Say Yaya Bello did not come to them. That Yaya Bello, who was declared wanted for alleged 80 billion naira fraud, that Yaya Bello is still wanted, that Yaya Bello have not honored any invitation from them, that they no see Yaya Bello. So here's the thing, Yaya Bello saying don't go EFCC, EFCC say they never see him. So who do we believe? Are we going to believe EFCC or are we going to believe Yaya Bello? But other news platform have it that Yaya Bello actually went to EFCC. If Yaya Bello is currently in EFCC or he visited EFCC, so why is EFCC saying that Yaya Bello is not with them? Now here's another question, why is EFCC afraid to go and carry Yaya Bello the way they used to carry all those Yahoo boys and every other person that commit fraud in Nigeria, the way that the boss has boom, 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 boom. Carry the person move. Why are they scared of carrying Yaya Bello like that? Remember, Yaya Bello is not a sitting governor. He is an ex-governor. Is there anything going on that we are not understanding? Anyway, if you understand what is currently going on between EFCC and Yaya Bello, maybe you should tell us in the comment section because right now, it's not clear to average Nigerians. Anyway, before you do that, please do not forget to. Enjoy your weekend. Thank you.